It is time to play SnowRunner Season 10 Fix and Connect. Here is what to expect from the latest Year 3 Pass DLC and version 24.0. Hello and welcome to a tribe called SnowRunner Season 10 Fix and Connect has pulled up into town and is available to purchase separately on console and PC. Or get the Year 3 Pass and have access to all four seasons of Year 3 DLC. Your call. Quick note, if buying any DLC or games through the Epic Game Store, help the channel by entering a tribe called Cars with no spaces at the checkout. It would be much appreciated. As part of update 24.0, we have a number of new things released within and alongside Season 10 Fix and Connect. One is the Pros Service, short for Prism Ray Online Services, which provides saves between PC, Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, and Nintendo Switch. What about Sony? Well, it is not mentioned in the Sabre forum post, nor the Pros website. Could just be a timing thing, we shall see. For those who want to, you can sign up to Pros, then press F5 or equivalent, then F6 or equivalent, to reveal a QR code. By scanning the QR code using Google Lens or whatever you prefer, you link SnowRunner the game to pros. As a result, you get some horns to stick on your truck and a mammoth-themed skin for the Fleetstar F2070A, not the F207A as written here. I was having some issues getting the game to save for the save transfer service. Maybe I am an idiot or too early, but the red save transfer is not available warning was not exactly helpful. What else is new in Season 10? Well, first we have two new maps in a new region of Canada. Rainy British Columbia brings with it more ascents and descents than any vanilla map before it, as well as more rain than Britain and two large as can be maps, 2x2 two two kilometers to be exact. Duncan Bay offers a remote urban town vibe, yet still has many, many picturesque locations and routes to explore. While the second map, North Peak National Park, is where you would go to see if Bigfoot is a real thing. Expect to launch a boat, repair a ferry, provide water to fish, clear up multiple disasters, avoid falling down waterfalls, and laugh at how rude Uncle Fishmill's name could be with just one letter change. Oh wait, Family Channel. The theme of two continues with the new trucks, of which we have the Mac Defense M917 multi-purpose all-wheel drive on and switchable diff lock cruiser, and the gigantic, versatile and slow Kenworth 963. Both brands are new to SnowRunner in an official capacity. All players, not just those with the Year 3 Pass or Season 10 bought separately, benefit from a new big crane. For picking up bigger things and new stickers, you can snap all over your preferred steeds. Though not every bug has been fixed in SnowRunner Update 24.0, the patch notes reveal a fair bit of adjustment. For starters, the Zix 612H Mastodon now has a fixed offset for large trailers, fixed steering wheel rotation, a new transport platform, big crane, improved lighting, and more. The Derry Special 15C177 and Zix 566A also had some improvements while New Game Plus mode has seen some big rule bugs ironed out, including ensuring upgrades found on the map are installable. Unfortunately, those Xbox co-op issue fixes are nowhere to be seen, but other changes include removing various visual glitches, performance improvements for Nintendo Switch mud driving, and issues with accepting the mysterious monolith main contest on Xbox and PlayStation. Feel free to check out all SnowRunner Update 24.0 fixes using the link in the description. Once you have subscribed, liked, and finished watching the video, obviously. Those biscuits do not pay for themselves. On that note, stay tuned for my epic Season 10 review and trucking comparisons of those two new rides. Until next time, take care. Bye.